you come to university in roughly the same state as Pinocchio. You know, you're a bit of a puppet and you're kind of a jackass and what the hell do you know? And it's chaotic because you haven't found your place in the world properly. And I don't mean merely for career, not that that's not relevant because it is, but it's more important than that. It's because you're a historical creature, because you are a product of history, unless you are enculturated properly, which means you understand your past in, in, in the sense that the humanities can allow for that, then you haven't been able to incorporate the wisdom of your ancestors into your day-to-day -day pursuits, and that's going to make you weak. That's the idea anyways. And so when you come to university, this is what university is for. It's so that you can go into the chaos and you can pull something out of it that's truly of value and you can incorporate that in your own personality and that makes you much much stronger like literally stronger not more educated but not it's not like you know more facts it's that you literally are a better person and better means you can do far more things you can articulate your that's that's something that's of crucial importance is that you can articulate yourself properly which is more useful than anything else you could possibly manage like if you guys come out of university capable of making coherent arguments and using language properly you're so powerful that it's ridiculous you you always you can lay out a strategy and pursue it successfully and maybe the strategy is actually oriented towards something good something that will actually work work for you and work for other people as well and I, I don't really understand why people aren't to told this when they come to university, is that your goal is to make yourself as articulate in writing and thinking and speaking as you possibly can, because that opens the door to everything that you'll want to do in the future, no matter what it is. Welcome to the first lecture of Real Useful Sh 101. I'm your Professor Juno. You can call me Professor Juno, Dr. Juno. I'm not a doctor, or just Juno. Alrighty, let's get started. All right, so Dr. Peterson talked about when you get to university, you're like a puppet, you're like Pinocchio, all right? You dumb A, you dumb AF. Your goal throughout university, you wanna leave college woke. You come in dumb AF, you're trying to leave woke. Side note, you probably, you probably also want like a job. So the idea, you come in, dumb AF, you're gonna get woke, and also you're gonna come out of college and you'll be able to get a job. You'll be able to start your career. What useful shit to know 101 focuses on is the path from dumb AF to woke plus half job. It can also be thought of as a transition from apprentice to master. Now, remember, useful shit 101 focuses on this area in the middle, okay? We're gonna call this the system. We are within the university system right now. Now, within this system, there are three main components. The first is chaos. The next is order. And then in the middle, there's you, the individual, the hero of your own story. And you are mediating between order and chaos as you journey from dumb AF to woke plus half job. Now, we're gonna break this down a little further still. You can think of order as this is, this is like the structure in your life as a college student. So in this case, it's your degree program or your major. It's the free Wi-Fi, it's the dormitories. It's the structure, pretty much. All right, so we can also talk about the other side of this, and that's chaos. This is your parties. This is your adventures. This is also a growth mindset, and it's an acceptance of ignorance. Or to put it simply, it's the unknown. Now, the last piece of this picture is you, the individual, the student, and it's your job to traverse between order and chaos. And at the end of the day, you want to run through your college experience, and you want to graduate down here this transformative process from apprentice to master. That is what university is about. All right, and now we're gonna take some time to talk about what do you do if you don't know what you wanna do with your life? What if I have no clue what I want to do in life? First, you wanna make self-improvement your number one priority because the best way to gain people skills is to be a dope person and to gain understanding of the world around us. It is crucial to first take the time to understand wisdom comes from within. So if you're 18, 19 years old and you're showing up to college and you're a little lost and confused, 
that's okay. Remember, you've got all this order on your side. Now, universities are a very safe, positive learning environments. Use the freedom of being a student to explore yourself, make self-improvement your number one priority, and through that process, you'll start to understand yourself a little more, and eventually you do that long enough, you dig down deep, deep, deep within yourself, you'll figure out what you want to do with your life. Now, reason number two why making self-improvement your first priority is a good idea when you don't know what you want to do with your life. It's because being a better person is one of the few things, guys, one of the very few things that will make everything else in your life either better or easier. Think about that for a second. That's so cool. That's such a cool, awesome idea. It's the idea that you can make the world a better place. It's the idea that you can be a better version of yourself. It's the idea that you can dive down into the belly of the beast and you can fight the chaos. And if you take on the world courageously, forthrightly, you're brave, you're strong, you go and fight the dragon, you put in the work, you grind, you do the hard shit, you know? You become dedicated, you become passionate, you give yourself to something, you start living on a mission, you know? That's when you have a chance at revivifying the dead state. That's when you get the pot of gold. That's when you save the princess. That's it, man, that's the story. That's the story of life. That's the hero's journey. That, that's everything, that's what it is. Being a better person is one of the few things that will make everything else in your life either easier or better. All right, so. Now we gotta, we gotta go into this a little bit, right? We gotta go into, okay, so what do I do? How do I self-improve? How do I self-improve? How do I do that? Well, listen, think about biology. Think about Darwinism. Think about what Darwin discovered. Darwin is the theory of survival of the fittest. And fitness, in a sense, it's like, it's competence, it's ability, it's how, it's how high your level of something is. Now, to get an idea of what this is all about, I want you to do this exercise with me and pretend to take yourself out and think about yourself abstractly as like an avatar, okay? So you have your video game version of you, right? And you guys have played video games before, right? You know, you know when you're level one, you can't really do that much. You know, your gear sucks, you have no good weapons. Anyway, so maybe, you know, you're, you're leveling up, you're playing your video game, you're leveling up your avatar, and you realize that as you level up more and more, the experience bar gets longer. It takes, it's harder to progress as you get more and more advanced, as you get farther into it. Also, you notice that the quests you're doing, the goals you're completing, they're getting a little more difficult too, as you level up and up. But at the same time, you're getting greater and greater rewards, which is cool. So it's a good idea to keep leveling up. As you level up, you get access to more things, you know? The two biggest things that you wanna remember from leveling up is one, your base stats increase, and two, your stuff increases with it. You get more gold, you have stronger gear, which gives you more stats, which gives you more power. You have more riches, you have more stuff, and your base stats are higher. Leveling up is a really good thing, okay? Leveling up, leveling up's a great thing. You should make leveling your first priority. You should be power leveling, right? College is a great place to power level. Every person in the real world has their own base stats. They're inside you. This is biology. Now you can break these stats up into four categories. You have your physical fitness. Then the next type of fitness you have is intellectual fitness or mental fitness. Then after that, you have your social fitness. And then your last category, over here, this is your spiritual fitness. And if you're someone who doesn't like the idea of spirituality, you're living, a, you're living an interesting life, but okay. You could also think of it as emotional fitness, but it's really spiritual fitness. Don't be confused, it's spiritual fitness. So you have these four main categories, okay? Your four base stats. Now, it's your job as a university student to boost those stats as quickly, as effectively, and as genuinely as possible. If you wanna reach the top, right? You have to find something that you're willing to put the work into. If you want to be, if you want to be excellent in life, if you want to win at what you do, there's no way to get around the leveling process. So it's your job to find something, find an area, find a discipline you want to power level in. All right, class, that wraps up day one of useful shit to know 101. Anywho, we about to go out and we about to keep grinding. We about to keep power leveling. I'm gonna catch you guys out on the turf. I'm gonna show you how to improve your physical fitness.